Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I'm exploring some more AI and ServiceNow integrations and this time it's about knowledge documents, okay? So what I did is I created a subflow and a UI action to draft a knowledge article. Now, I'm, you know, you don't want to actually take whatever the AI generates and publish it, but it's a good starting point. So my thinking was, how if I've got a list of knowledge articles I try to create, how could I start cranking through this quickly? So I figured, hey, AI could probably help with that. So let's start off with an easy example. Um, enable dark mode in ServiceNow it will be my short description. So the flow here is the short description, no article body yet. And I've got a UI action button here at the top to generate the AI draft. I can also right click and use generate AI draft there. And there should be a link down here. Yep, generate AI draft as a related link. So I put it in all three places on this particular one, but let's go ahead and click that. And um, what it's doing in the background is it's starting a subflow using the UI action. And this time I got it to stay on the current page. And it's sending a formatted prompt to uh, GPT-3 and saying, generate a knowledge article on the following topic, colon, enable dark mode in service now. And as you can see right behind me, it generated that knowledge article. So we've got an overview section and then the actual instructions. Now I did this as a test for uh, resetting Microsoft Teams and the instructions were wrong. Uh, so it's a good way to get a draft generated and uh, have something to start with, uh, but it's still something you'd want to review and make sure is actually accurate before you publish something like this. So let's try an actual workspace. So I'm going to go to Service Operations Workspace, and I'm going to go to the Knowledge Articles list here and do the same thing. I'm going to create a new Knowledge Article, and this time I want to do something that's not technical, uh, but still should be in the realm of possibilities for GPT-3 or AI um, that has, you know, peruse the internet for stuff. So I'm going to say update W4 form. Um, that's it. That's all the context I'm going to give it. I'm going to hit the save button up here. And after I hit save in a workspace, then I get my other UI actions. And one of those should be to generate the AI draft. There it is. And so I'm just going to scroll down, hands off keyboard, and wait for that to update. And my test here was to see, can it do something that's you know not a technical thing, but uh, but should be plenty of instructions out there in the, the universe and the web on how to update your W-4 form. If you're not from the U.S., our W-4 form is how uh, we tell our employers how much taxes to take out our paychecks. So it did it, it generated it, there it is, updating your W-4 form. It gives you some steps and there's seven, eight steps and additional resources with some links. So just really quickly in under 30 seconds, I'm able to generate a draft. And so essentially I could create a bunch of knowledge articles really, really quickly. And I think that's a great use of GPT-3. In this case, I'm using the text DaVinci 003 model or language model. And uh, that's what's generating this actual content. I hope you found this video helpful. The code will be available on GitHub. So you can go down there, download, sync the source code to your ServiceNow instance. Don't do this in production. Play around with it. Let me know what you think. And if you'd like this video, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in integrating artificial intelligence or GPT-3 with ServiceNow. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.